Edmonton Oilers captain Andrew Ference called out his teammates following their 10th straight loss in early December, saying those who mope are being unprofessional as the team stumbles and is mired at the bottom of the NHL standings. The question is, what can the Oilers do to improve the situation? Dallas Aikens is not the first coach they've had here, and they've had nine, we're going on nine losing seasons here, and he's only been responsible for two of them. So it's, you know, it is incumbent on the players, but the question, it's the the great question, where do they go from here? I mean, how do you fix that? Um, You can make a coaching change, you can make some, you know, a roster move or two, but is it going to fix the, you know, the, the problem? I mean... Are we talking? We're not just talking one or two players here. Well, they've got the team. I mean, w- all he's done is nibble around the edges, Craig McTavish, by calling guys up from the minors, sending guys down, sitting guys in the press box. But they're not the, apart from Justin Schultz and Keaton, one game. They're not the players that play a lot of minutes. So um, he has to make some deal, whether he's from a position of weakness or not. The others are always from in a position of weakness when they're making a trade. They're always in the bottom of the league. So. To use that as an excuse, I can't trade because we're from a position of weakness. There's other teams in the league playing every bit as badly as the Edmonton Oilers would probably like to make a trade just as, well, as much as the Oilers would. If he is singling out Taylor Hall and Jordan Everly and Ryan Nugent Hopkins for criticism, that's a, a bit of a, a double-edged sword here. They're their best players. Yeah. I don't see anybody else beyond them and when it comes to scoring a goal, doing anything. So it's nice to say they should be more professional if that's who he's talking about. But I don't see the secondary scoring picking up the slack and saying, uh, well, we can we can help out here now instead of the same three guys playing on the first line getting all the points. And while they get more minutes than everybody else, it's because they produce more than everybody else. Ferentz is interesting, though, because he... He was asked, have you seen this? Have you seen people moping in the locker room? Have you seen? And his sense, well, yeah, haven't you seen it? It's obvious. That, I mean, he, he's not talking about the third and the fourth line here. Yeah. He's talk, he said, he said it's, it's obvious who, who I'm talking about. He just didn't say who they were, which I found quite telling.